the man, the myth, the legend himself, Klaus is in. Can he keep Queen Walker's dreams alive? With four invis and three bats? Klaus? What's up everybody? I made a fun new PvP video in this brand new game called Kingdom Maker. It was a whole lot of fun to create. Go check it out now on the Kingdom Maker YouTube channel. Link down in the description below. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, with the next OP matchup. Today is the final day of the Itsu Cup. We're going to have four back-to-back -back matches. This is the round of 16. And this is the match that everybody's been waiting for. Queen Walker Stephanie versus JD Esports. And JD Esports have been on an absolute tear lately. 15 stars, 15 stars, 14 stars, 15 stars. They have been destroying teams left and right. And let's see if they can keep their streak going against the almighty Queen Walkers. We got Gaku going in with the first attack though. A little Super Bowler smash action to kick things off. He starts with the Warden Walk on the right side of the base. Flame Flinger to support. Flame Flinger is gonna go down for that scatter shot. And then I think we're gonna smash in toward the Eagle Artillery and just jump our way into the core where all these Inferno Towers are. Okay. Here we go. Queen to pull the Warden on up. Bowlers are in. King and Witches from the top side of the base. Nice Golem pops, freezes right away. We get through that Barbarian King. Flame Flinger on the right, still getting a ton of value. First jump spell is in. CC troops are coming out. Eagle Artillery is locking onto Bowlers, but we should be able to take out the Eagle pretty quickly here. <clears throat> nice. Did he just freeze, or is that another ice golem? I think it's another ice golem pop. We pop the hound. Healers are switching to the bowlers. That's looking good. We might need the warden ability early. Yep, he pops it early. King ability on the top side. Royal champion up there to help assist him. Super bowlers are still alive. We need to make sure the healers can stay on them. There we go. There's the next jump, taking us all the way down toward the bottom side of the base. Flame flinger popped. We had Valkyries come out and clear everything all the way to 6 o'clock. That's looking good. Road Champion on the top side gets through the scatter shot. Super Bowlers getting through the Town Hall. There's a Tornado Trap. We freeze up the Town Hall. We're looking decent. 52 seconds for cleanup. He's got an extra Rage that he uses for the Royal Champion. Down go all those defenses at 9 o'clock. And the base is gone. It's a triple for Gaku to start off this match. And oh boy, I think we are in for a good one. Swag free spell there. It's a three star with 34 seconds to spare. JD Esports are in with their first attack. We got a Lava Hound. We got Balloons and a Haste. Okay. All that to set up a Blizz? Yeah. Sure. Sure. You take out the Bomb Tower by doing that. He's not using any Wall Breakers, so I feel like he could have just done that with Rocket Balloons. Instead of using a Hound and a Haste, you know? Oh well. We get the Town Hall. We pull the CC. We're gonna be able to kill it with the Super Wiz. At least most of it. We got the Poison Spell for the rest of the pups. We're gonna Sui in toward the left side of the base. Okay. <laughs> King over on the left. Ice Golem in with the Queen. <laughs> see how much they can get here with the Sui. That Ice Golem pops super early. Valkyrie going inside. Ew, she's gonna stay outside rip. Queen fighting enemy queen. We go with the invis. Sneaky's up on the top side. Looks like we want King to beat through a wall and go toward the multi, but honestly, I'm not sure which way he goes. Okay, he will go toward the multi. Beautiful. Queen gets the wizard tower. Queen gets the sweeper. Which way does she go? He's gonna go in toward the core and take out all those builder huts. All right, we pop King ability. He'll take out the multi. Queen will get these Builder Huts. Lalo making its way in toward the Eagle with the Royal Champion to help assist. Now we're going to need to use some Headhunters to help her get through the enemy King. Bro, she's not going to get as much value as we need. We pop Queen ability. She's stuck on a wall. I don't think she's going to get a whole lot more. We do have one more Invis. But I feel like he's going to save it for the Royal Champion. His Royal Champion was getting wrecked by that King. The Headhunters were a little late. We pop Warden ability. That core multi is doing a lot of damage right now. We're going to freeze it up alongside the sweeper. Haste our way in toward the scatter. We still got Royal Champ ability. We're going to freeze that core multi again. Trying to keep all these balloons alive. He's got two more freezes, but everybody is skipping the core. 
We're gonna freeze the Warden Tower. Might need to invis this RC, and we do. It feels a little sketchy. I'm not convinced that it's gonna work. Maybe. Come on, RC. Get through that multi. Hurry up, girl. Oh, she goes up. She'll take it out with the Warden. Do we have enough to get through this bottom side? There is an Expo. There is an Archer Tower. Tornado Trap. Royal Champion's really low. It's gonna be close. We got the Owl and the Warden. Archer Tower is really the only major threat here. I think he gets it. Bone troops. Go, go, go. Yeah, he does. Pups and minions are going to gang up on that Archer Tower. Down it goes. Whew. It was a little wonky, not going to lie. But a three-star is a three-star. And after the first round of attacks, we are all tied up. Staz is in with the next attack here. First or second attack for Queen Walker, Stephanie. See what he's going to do. Did a Blizz Lalo? Yeah, he's only got two invis. Might just be a Sui Lalo. Taking his time, thinking about the funnel. Barbarian, Flame Flinger. Definitely not a Blizz. Yeah, he doesn't have the Rage Spell either. It's just a good old Sui Lalo. Flame Flinger is going to get some value here on the south side of the base. We got a Baby Dragon up at 1030. Help get some of these storages nice and early. Okay. Trying to distract that mortar with the barbarians. So the flame flinger doesn't take any damage. And decent so far. Okay. Just being super patient. What's the next step? We're waiting. We're waiting. He wall breaks into the town hall. Looks like he's gonna send Queen. To the town hall. King Ice Golem to the right. Flame Flinger still getting some good value on the south side of the base. Ice Golem pops early, freezes up the enemy queen. He'll be able to pop his king ability. He's not using the royal champion with the king. Okay. Can king at least get that scatter? I think he should. Oh, we're gonna, we are going to send RC. We send her a little late, but I think it's because we're trying to time it perfectly to make sure she goes to the core and get some of these inferno towers. We invis the RC. King gets the scatter. Pop queen ability. She gets the town hall. RC's working on Expos. Does she path toward the Inferno Towers and the Eagle? We got one more Invis. I kind of wish he had a Rage for the RC. I feel like it would be worth it. Imagine if the RC was Raged right now. She'd probably have enough time to get so much more than she's going to get. She's not even going to get the Eagle without the Rage. Oh, it's one shot, bro. Rip. A Rage for the RC definitely would have been worth it. Flame Flinger dies. We got Lalo on the southeast side of the base. We're going to have to just Lalo straight through the core. What was in the CC? Did he even use a poison? I don't even think he did. It must have just been like two headhunters or something that he easily killed. We got... Oh no, there's a Lava Hound from the defense. Okay. We freeze the scatter shot. We freeze the multi. He still has a lot of balloons alive. He still has a heal spell. He still has like a million freezes. Yo, it's like he had more. He's got more balloons now than what he started with. What the? How does he do it? The base is gone. Jeez. Doesn't even matter that RC didn't get much in the core. He just lolos through the core. He doesn't care. He doesn't even need the heal. He swags two spells. What an absolute legend. He's got the archer on the top side getting that collector. He's a little low on time, but he should have enough here. 15 seconds, poison spell for the hound. Minions get the army camp and the collector on the top side is going to go down in time. Good thing he saved the archer for that. Boom, just enough time to spare. Four seconds left over. It's a triple. And Queen Walkers are two for two. Checko is in. Second attack for JD Esports. Bringing us Queen Charge. La -la -la. Giant and Queen on the left side. I think he's a funnel up at 10 o'clock. Nice. Queen will take out the mortar. We'll get the elixir storage. We'll get the archer tower. She should walk left and then into the town hall chamber. Looks like that's the plan. We do have one quake spell. Oh, is he about to do the trick where he does log launcher from 9 o'clock? And then quakes the Inferno Tower to kill it and get the walls open. I think he is. 
Maybe not. Comes a headhunter. Oh, he is! Log launcher from 9 o'clock. Quake spell will help take out the Inferno Tower. And it'll help bust open those walls behind the Inferno Tower. We're, we are going to have to invest one freeze or an invis here. He goes with the freeze. Come on, log launcher. Hurry up. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Come on, log launcher. Now you see, if he had the log launcher a little bit earlier, I think it would have saved him that freeze spell. Yep. If the log launcher was like three seconds earlier, it, it would have saved him an extra freeze spell. So not quite perfect timing on the log launcher, but still good enough. Now he had a dragon rider in his log launcher. I don't think it really got any value, but oh well. King on the south side of the base. We raised the queen again. She's going to be able to reach so much. Look at how much the log launcher opened up. She can get all the way to the core multi. <laughs> queen going for the upper scatter. King and royal champion are in on the bottom side. Looking good. We can pop king ability. He might be able to help take out this enemy royal champion. And he still has warden to help the Lalo. Yeah, this is looking really, really strong. There goes Headhunters. He's going to pop Warden ability right away or rage up the Lalo. Queen and RC going to fight Enemy Queen. We're going to freeze up Enemy Queen with Expo. Keep that Royal Champion alive. Five ever. Headhunters take out the Enemy King. Lalo moving along toward the top side of the base. It's crushed. As long as he has time. And he's got a lot of time. What a plan from Checo of JD Esports. That was cool. Invis is the Royal Champion. Queen probably picked the worst wall possible to beat. Because now she just has to beat another wall right next to it. The Royal Champion died. The loons are starting to fizzle out. But well, actually, could time be an issue here? Did we jinx him? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rip. The 99 percent time fail Ooh, you jinxed him not me azuma is in with the next attack of queen walker stephanie if they get another triple here they are going to be three for three and really cement their lead here let's see what kazuma can do with a little queen charge lalo of his own he's got five lightning spells and an earthquake on this one there's the queen on the south side of the base we get the air defense which way is she gonna walk He's also got eight sneaky goblins. So I think he wants Queen to skip the town hall. And he's just going to use sneaky goblins to take out that town hall. Queen walking to the right. We'll take out the wizard tower. We are getting a partial CC pull from that Coco Loon. The wall breaker does hit the junction, which is a little awkward because now the queen pathing is uncertain. She might step toward the town hall. In fact, I think she does. After she gets the gold storage. Unless he invises. And he does. Okay, he really wants her to skip that town hall. We're going to send King on the right. We're going to wall break over there. Queen going to keep just slowly walking over here away from the town hall. We're going to funnel to get King in toward the scatter shot. Poison spell is in. Wall break to give Queen access to the multi. Queen gonna have to take some time here. We're going with the lightnings and the quake. Why do you quake after the zap? No! Bro, you always quake first. Rip Kazuma. The Inferno Tower stays up. Oh no. He rages the queen, sending sneakies for the town hall. The single locks onto the queen. Oh, he's in big trouble. Queen has to go to ability because of that. We got the invis. Lalo coming in from the top. Is there any way it can still work? He just swagged like six spells, not gonna lie. Lalo gets through the eagle. Queen. Oh, hello, red bombs on the healers. Rip those healers. Imagine if he had those six spells to just help the Lalo now. Oh, jeez. Got a stone slammer. 
Oh, this is so awkward. This is the defense JD Esports needed. This is gonna get interesting. He's running low on time. Even if he could overpower it, I think he runs out of time no matter what. What's in his stone slammer? 13 seconds on the clock. Got more balloons and a dragon rider in there. He still gets really good percent after swagging five spells. Oh my gosh. I mean, six spells, really. Jeez. Bro, this straight up might be a time fail. I'm not sure. But he runs out of time at 91%. JD Esports are in. With their next attack, if they triple, they will take the lead. Ooh, seeking air mines hit the blimp. It's a blizz. No, it's a cloned Yeti bomb. Okay, they get the scatter. They're not taking out the Royal Champion though, like I think he expected. They do take out that Inferno Tower on the right side of the Town Hall, that's cool. He drops the Queen. The timing with this Hound could actually be awkward though. The cannon's gonna be up. He's gonna try to take it out with two balloons. I'm not sure if that's enough. Even with three balloons, I don't think it's enough. Royal Champion, she does not lock on. Okay, that will be enough. Down goes the cannon. Poison spell for the Hound. Archer to help support. King on the south side. Ice Golem is in. We have two wall breakers, not just one. Interesting. I think he expects King to stay on the outside. And the other wall breaker somehow is for him. Ice Golem and Queen will get the Town Hall. There's the Tornado Trap. Gonna spin the Ice Golem around. Pops the Queen ability right away. The reason why you do that, even if Queen can get through the Town Hall without the ability, is you save the Unicorn. But the Unicorn is still alive at full health because of that decision. But it doesn't really matter because she's going to die right away. King making his way to the left. What was that other wall breaker for? He used it over there. We got Lalo coming in from the top side of the base. Royal Champion in at 2 o'clock to help support. Lots of Teslas up by the Eagle. We're gonna haste, we're gonna pop that war in ability. Got a couple of headhunters to help take out the king. We're gonna end up finishing on a scatter shot and the enemy queen. The royal champion's still alive on the right side as well. Not an easy Lalo, especially with that island inferno tower to worry about. But he does have a bunch of spells. Pops the RC ability. Haste on the left, skeleton spell. We need to freeze that scatter. Oh, homie. There's the freeze for the scatter. Haste. Yes. The queen's still alive though. We invis the Royal Champion. Down goes the Scatter. RC goes for the single. We need to kill that Queen. He's killing all the Skellies. Come on, RC. Come on, RC. Take her out. Yes, RC, Owl, Warden. 3v1 the Queen. Down she goes. Minions take out the Gold Storage. We don't even have to kill the RC. That's a three star for JD Esports. And just like that, they take the lead over Queen Walkers on percent. The man, the myth. The legend himself, Klaus, is in. Can he keep Queen Walker's dreams alive? Let's see. Queen Charge. Dragon Riders. With four invis and three bats? Klaus? Well, at least he's giving us a thumbnail. Let's go. Queen at five o'clock. Which way does he want her to go? Oh! Oh! The double bat donut? On a queen walk? Takes the multi? Takes the single? Takes the X-Bow as well? Klaus? Okay, I can dig it. Nice! Oh, he got the CC too? Bro, what? Klaus? Oh my gosh. What a donut. Mid queen walk. Healers are in trouble. He goes with the freeze. He's trying hard not to use the rage. And he won't. Oh, healers. He lost two healers. Still has three. Okay. We're gonna keep going left. Oh gosh, hello Tesla farm. Now he's dropping the king at three o'clock. 
but he's just going to get distracted by all those Teslas. Royal Champion to help support. Coco Loon pulls a Tornado Trap. Queen dealing with all the Skellies. We're going to have to pop this King ability, and here we go with the Dragon Riders right between the King and the Royal Champion. The rest of the attack is pretty straightforward. Just spam the Riders and hope for the best. He doesn't have that many spells left. We go with an early Warden ability. Three Headhunters are in. They should be able to take out the enemy Queen. Hopefully they can make it all the way to the Royal Champion and take her out as well. Oh, but they don't have invincibility anymore. They take about half her health. Can the Royal Champion on offense fight the Royal Champion on defense? She's distracted by Skellies. We pop Queen ability on the left. Come on, RC. She skips the enemy RC. Oh, that's awkward. The Queen is so low. Well, he's got a freeze and an invis. He decides to invis the queen. She steps in. She'll take the scatter. He might be able to take out the enemy royal champion too with a perfectly timed freeze. Drop it, drop it, drop it. No, you We're okay. Now he freezes. RC is still alive. She'll take her out. Healers are switching. We got one dragon rider left alive. 25 seconds for cleanup. Klaus, you dirty dog. The queen walk. Quadruple Skelly Bat Donut. He got the CC. One Inferno Tower. Two Inferno Towers. And an Expo. Wow. Impressive stuff from Klaus. Down goes the last storage. It's another triple for Queen Walker Stephanie. And pressure back on JD Esports. They have to triple to keep their lead. JD Esports are in. With some more Queen Charge Lalo. Pressure's on them right now. If they don't triple, they lose the lead. Doesn't matter the percent. They have to triple to keep their lead. Let's see if they can do it against Kazuma's base. We got baby dragons on each side. Balloon for the cannon. Still has yet to deploy the queen. Battle Blimp is in. There goes the queen over at 4 o'clock. Wall break into the cannon. Okay, Sneaky Goblin should help take out the storage. Yeti Bomb with a rocket balloon gonna pull the cc and make a nice little funnel we gotta raise the queen up right away as well headhunter bro r.i.p that queen ability yikes being on the right side of the base queen gonna get stuck on the hound now we do have a poison spell to help her out only problem so far is he lost the queen ability early minion to help ego artillery is already awake and shooting the king we're gonna try to wall break her in for the scatter shot Wall break. Oh, actually, he's going to try to wall break her in toward the multi, not the scatter. I like that more. Oh, he might have sent the wall breaker just a half second too early. Unless it hits the junction. It does hit the junction. She has access to the multi. And hopefully she takes it out. Yes, she will. She paths in for the sweeper? That was weird. How did she target the sweeper first? In what world is the sweeper closer? I don't know. But she'll get the Town Hall, and we start the Lalo from the top side of the base. Here we go. Looking decent. Balloons are in. He still has the Royal Champion. She's on the top side as well, helping the Lalo. We get through the Eagle. There's so many skeleton traps up there. His RC's getting distracted. We send Headhunters. We're popping the Warden ability. Invis on the Queen was late. She's dead, so the Rage, the Invis, ends up being swagged. Uh-oh, he could be in trouble. There's a lot of defenses left. 60 seconds on the clock, but only one freeze spell remains. Is the RC shield enough? The balloons are dropping. They're dropping fast. He's out of balloons. Oh, he doesn't get it. That's a defense for Kazuma. Ali Khalil not able to get through it. You could argue if that invis spell on his queen was half a second earlier. That could have been a triple. Rip. Half a second timing difference on one invisibility spell means everything in this attack. Oh my gosh. Also, if he still had the queen ability from earlier, it could have made all the difference. Minions. Sneaky Goblins getting a few more percentage points on the left side, but it's going to fall short here at 89%. Nice try. Yuta 14 is in with the final attack for Queen Walker Stephanie. Here's the situation. They're up by a star and three buildings on percent. So Yuta 14 needs a 98% two star or better. 
to guarantee the win. It's basically a triple. If he doesn't get 98% two-star or better, JD Esports can steal the win at the last second with their last attack. Yeti Bomb on the left side takes out the Scatter. He almost got that Inferno Tower. He almost got the Royal Champion as well. She's on 1 HP. Poison Spell for the Super Minions as the Queen walks down toward the Town Hall Chamber. Baby Dragon to help Funnel. Looks like we want Queen to go in for the single before she eventually makes her way to the Town Hall. We got the King coming in on the bottom side of the base with the Royal Champion. Okay. We freeze the Expo and the Bomb Tower. That Warden Tower is doing a lot of damage to the RC. We wall break. We're still going to need another freeze here. Get the single and the Warden Tower with it. Nice. I think he's actually... Ooh. You want Queen to go left for the multis? Yes. And he wants King to take the Town Hall. And he will with the help of that Invis. Ooh. That's spicy. Queen takes out all three Inferno Towers. King gets the Town Hall. And we got Dragon Riders coming in from the right side of the base. There is a Tesla farm over there. So we're going to go with the early Warden ability. Headhunters are in. Rage spell over the scatter shot. Queen still alive on the left side of the base. Dude, that queen pathing was phenomenal. Down goes the scatter. We freeze the eagle artillery. Queen gonna have to fight the enemy king, but she still has her ability. We're gonna invest the last rage on her anyway. Dragon riders are making their way through. That's a three star. That's a three star all day long. You to 14. What an OP closer he is. Look at the, all the red bombs on the healers, but it doesn't matter. Queen got all the value she needed to. We invis on the right. Could have swagged it. Down goes the eagle. Pop the queen ability. She's going to get the last few buildings. Even the king is still alive. It's a three star. Queen Walker Stephanie, take down JD Esports after we've seen JD Esports demolishing teams left and right for the last couple of days. GG's to Queen Walker Stephanie. They're moving on. The next round of the Itsu Cup. Let's see what JD can do with their final attack. Exodia is in with the final attack of the match. Bring us some Lalo action. Okie dokie. King at 6 o'clock. He's going to go in toward the Eagle. Queen on the left. That King in a path into the Eagle. Or that King might just... Oh, that's actually awkward. King is not going into the eagle. Well, the plan is not exactly going to plan here for Exodia. We send the golem to help. Royal champion from 9 o'clock. Pop the king ability. He'll take out the enemy royal champion. He'll at least tank for the queen for a little bit. Now, which way is queen going to go? Into the left compartment or into the multi? The answer is neither. <laughs> Rip. Oh. The Sui is not getting the value he expected. RC at least get the scatter? Barely. <laughs> but yikes. Can Queen pick up the Eagle? Okay, she will. Good. He's gonna send the Slammer to the Mortar and Lala from the top side. I think he should have used a Slammer for the Multis. But here we go. Let's see if he can power through. Let's see if he can power through. I was going to wake up this town hall. Can he get a... Yes, I think he did get a pup to wake it up. Had to pop a juicy warden ability here. There goes the rage spell. Nice. Headhunters are in. But everybody's slowed by that giga poison. We freeze. We drop a skelly. We freeze on the left. Nobody pathing to the multis. We're going to raise the lalo on the outside. Freeze up over there as well. Poison the enemy queen. He did get some true. Oh, yetis, and they land in the dead zone, bro. That's even more awkward. Are they stuck behind the walls? I think they are. We haste the Lalo on the right. He's got one more haste, one more invis. His warden died. Two multis stay up. Is there any way he can take out those multis? Not really. What in the invis was that? Oh? Nope. Oh, dude, just that one multi. Oh, he's got a baby dragon! No way. Oh! Rip! <laughs> Rip the baby dragon. <laughs> nice seeking air mine, Yuta. Oh, jeez. 
He almost saved that. Gotta give him credit. He almost saved that. Minions on the right, picking up more percentage points. We'll get the barracks for 96. Might even pick up the pad for 97. And the other barracks for 98? Bro, no way this is a 99. The minion is on the storage, not the hound. That's a 99%. Oof. Rip Exodia, that one Inferno Tower. Jeez. Nice try to JD Esports. But their run here in the Itsu Cup comes to an end as Queen Walker Stephanie are victorious. 14 to 12, 98.2% to 97.4%.